Hello everybody, my name is Shredtex and welcome to Bannerlord and our Realm of Thrones playthrough. If you're not sure what that means, I am playing the Game of Thrones mod for Bannerlord. Oh, let's be a bit careful here. Oh, I love javelins, everybody. They are beautiful. Now, I'm actually playing as an alternative reality to the main Game of Thrones story where I am playing as none other than Venerys Targaryen. He has somehow managed to survive the clutches of Khal Drogo and is now on his path of vengeance across all of Westeros and Essos because we actually started over there. Uh oh, that's not good. Arbin, be careful. If you're wondering how I survived, by the way, what I have decided, I mean, um, what is fact, <laughs> is that that man right there who is being murdered by a bunch of peasants is Hobbin Rude. He's still alive, good. <laughs> we'll rescue him later. He's actually a bandit that stole my golden crown off my head as I was left for dead, and now he's following me around because he thinks my hair is actually made out of gold. Uh, this guy is really annoying. Let me see if I can... Uh oh. I'm actually going to be better off if I get off my horse and fight him on foot. I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm not a very good cavalry person. We're just, let's do it. It'll be fine. There you go. Nailed it. Now, unlike my prior, prior series, I'm going to be playing as a cavalry guy, which is really weird saying that because I just got off my horse. <laughs> but I'm going to try my best, okay? Um, we're going to be trying to stick without any ranged weapons if we can, apart from a few throwing weapons. And we're going to go for pole arms. And we're going to see how that goes. My actual series mission, though, everybody is to get myself, one, a dragon, and also to kill. And I mean kill everybody. We're going to do some executing here. Kill pretty much all the families. We're going to be killing everyone that hurt my father. So we're going to be killing the Starks, the Baratheons, the Lannisters, the Arons, and probably anybody else I probably find, to be honest. <laughs> we're going to be killing a lot of people. But unfortunately for me, I'm not actually in Westeros yet. So we actually had to make a name for ourselves and make the plunge into the ocean to get over there. Now, I don't know, um, at least in base game Bannerlord, you could not uh, use boats or sea travel. So hopefully I haven't got a swim over there, but it looks like there might be ways across the ocean sea. You can see there's like a massive coral reef, apparently, between the locations. But for right now, though, we are in the middle of nowhere. Literally, there's like nothing here. <laughs> uh, we've got to try and get ourselves some followers. And we've got to go uh, make ourselves powerful enough to take on the laws of Westeros. I will say, due to um, Banner Lord and mod limitations, I could not create the, the character I exactly wanted. Um, for instance, we're a bit of a B-class rip-off Targaryen. I'm not going to lie to you guys. If you look at my clan name, you'll see it is real Targaryen. Because <laughs> there's already Targaryens on the map. And also, I couldn't find the banner. So I've had to settle for a um, chicken dragon. And if you've got a keen eye, you'll also notice I haven't even got red. It's some weird basic red. <laughs> Pale red. I couldn't afford the entire die. Okay, we just have to make do. So yeah, my character's a bit interesting. Also, I thought as per the character was in the TV show, he kind of sucks everybody. Um, he has like no redeeming skills in pretty much anything. Um, this is probably more due to me not being able to pick stuff in the character creator. But <laughs> for in-game reasons for lore, we're going to say that's because he sucks, everybody. So we're gonna, just going to see how things go. We also got my good friend here, Hobbin Rude, which for some reason steals from the poor and gives to the rich. He's kind of got everything backwards, but at least he managed to steal my head away, which saved my life. Oh, he's leveled up already. That's pretty cool. Although none of these perks actually help him in any way in becoming better in the game. But we just pick the top one. It's fine. Anyway, so now we actually managed to get ourselves a little bit of a battle there. Um, I would love it if I can actually get myself a real horse. Now, the reason I'm using a donkey is quite simple, everybody. I started with one riding skill. <laughs> so I couldn't actually use anything bar the terrible thing. Oh, I'm tempted to use a camel. No, let's go for a actual horse. Let's go for this one, shall we? I can just afford it and we can keep the mule in our party as a little bit of a uh, carry sort. Oh, upgrade. Perfect. I love my bold head, by the way. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm like a whole new person. Well, I probably am, to be honest. Anyway, uh, now, how am I going to level up? Normally, I would be running around doing missions or tournaments, but the map seems... Oh, thank you. <laughs> Please go away. I do not want to fight you. So I'm going to try and while we're heading over to the coastline of Westeros, we'll see if we can do some like drive by tournaments or just kill some random people. You never know. I feel like I should probably get some backup, though. Next time we fight some bandits, we can actually have some people assisting uh, Hobbin hold off the ground area. Interesting. Is there anything around here I can actually do? <laughs> Aha! Oh, hello there. Oh, this one's better. Still right there. I refuse. Let's take this guy down. I don't know what that means, but thank you for telling me, game. That is awesome. Look at that. Yeah. I cannot wait to get a dragon. Um. Oh, he's still knocked out. That's not very good, is it? So in theory, if these guys are worse than last time, he might have just lost the game already. <laughs> Which would not be the first time that's happened to me. Um. 
How many shields do they have? That's not that bad. I have kind of cheated and gotten myself some throwing weapons because uh, I can... What? what just happened? <laughs> that made no sense in any way. I was expecting that guy to get hit in the face by a javelin, but I guess um, it's an alternative reality in many different ways. One more time. Okay, I haven't managed to kill any of them. I feel like we might die, everybody. <laughs> I have made a grave mistake. Ooh, beautiful. Unfortunately, the pitchfork's not the most optimal weapon to use on horseback, believe it or not. Um, so we might have a little bit of trouble here when it comes to king the enemy. Ideally, these guys would help me. But um, looking at their equipment and their attire, I kind of think we're screwed. I mean, um, yeah, but definitely it's screwed. Maybe they're just cats from Heatstroke. You never know. We might get lucky here. Ooh, that was a bit scary. I really want to avoid being killed. I know it's a weird thing to say, but I feel like it would get us further in the game. I'm going to get my guys to run away bravely. It's their favorite pastime. Whoa! No, 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 no. Excellent. That guy's out for the count. If I just keep getting them run away, this is a very exciting gameplay. <laughs> run away, man! <laughs> Look, there's a reason for this, guys. In base game, at least, peasants are worse than looters. So if it's a 1v1, they're going to lose. So I've got to be very... Careful. Ooh. <gasps> I forgot I got a horse now, which means I can just ram people over and over again. Perfect. If only I could like ride like a bull or something. <laughs> or something with more mass. A rhino. Can you can someone mod me in a rhino, please? That'd be brilliant. Guys, you got too far away. I didn't realize your pacing was so good. They're clearly marathon runners in their pastime. Oh. <laughs> uh, did I mention that I'm not that great at using cat horseback everybody? I may have a lot of experience in fighting on the ground, but when it comes to this, not so much. That was not a good start for my friend there. Um, I've got to try and get them when distracted. If they look at me... That afro is so powerful. It's actually working out, actually. It's, it's, we're doing it. 3v3. Free, free, free. They'll be fine. Good job. Wow. I take it back. They're pretty good. Wait, let me join him. Yay! <laughs> Look at that face. Is it not terrifying? So there may be a slight chance that I managed to accidentally skip the looting bit there, everybody. But we actually got some basic armor, which is not going to be saving my life anytime soon. But you never know. I might survive a 1 HP one day from like, I don't know, a squirrel bites me or something with that armor level. There's a lot of... That is way too many. Maybe we can get some more troops as we go along. We're actually getting quite close to the coastline now. Um, it's around here. I presume I got to get to Westeros from the, this little path here. And then we had up in the Martell area, which is pretty cool. It's really confusing with all the different emblems, by the way. I can't tell who's part of what kingdom whatsoever. But I'm sure once we join or create a kingdom, it'd be a lot easier to figure out. I'd rather actually put... Uh oh. No, nah, I'm not going to going to risk that. It's going to take ages to kill those guys. Let's just keep going. Still a bit of a shame there's not been a tournament on the way over here, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, nice. I'll take it. So we're going to dive right in. I actually don't have any money, though. So if we try and sell what we have first, and also let's do some level ups as well. Uh, let's go for cavalry. And, ooh, what do I want? What do I really, really want when I really, really want it? Let's go for pole arms again, I think. Sell the goods. I don't know how good this character is going to be at fighting anyway in tournaments, but hopefully this one's randomly going to have a lot of cavalry in it or we're going to be in trouble. Ooh. That's actually really bad armor, but I'll take it anyway. I'm going to bet on myself maximum the first time, but probably not afterwards. Oh no, I've been given a shield. I don't like shields. No shields for me. Come back. <laughs> I'm too... Oh. Oh, that's a lot. We got to kill her right away. What the? <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but it's okay. That man's got a pole arm. I feel like someone's giving me a LARPing sword. Can somebody give me a real weapon, please? That guy was just getting wrecked. Okay, we can defend ourselves. I got a pole arm. Bring it on. I'm not scared. Doing us so damage. <laughs> that damn carousel formation. Oh. I don't want to do that attack. I'll take it. That's fine. 
Nice. Oh, no thank you. Is it just that guy left now? Yes, there's two of them left. Two cavalry. I think we've got a pretty good chance of winning this tournament if um, I don't get screwed over by a lance or something. Come on, so close. This guy's got a really strong face. He must have been working out his jawline or something. Just catches the spear <laughs> with his teeth. Uh, I'm too confident, everybody. I'm sorry. We're going to go full in. We're make or break. If I fail this tournament, we are now completely bankrupt. Anyone of interest in here? No. Apart from Delia, everyone else is now... That's a really weird banner. Everyone else should now be just peasants. Elite Frostbowman. Let's go and kill that guy. Oh, I'll just kill this guy. Screw it. Get down. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> I don't mind. I got some axe murderer vibes right now. Don't worry about it. Ooh, that went really... 52 damage with no skill level. I'll take that. Oh, I keep forgetting I've got no money. Okay, I'm going to keep my shield this time. Well, what is he doing? We don't know. I'm really impressed that guy is still alive. Whoa, sir. Wait, wait, wait. Can we fight properly? Give me a second. Oh, what the? <laughs> oh, no. I should have kept the shield. Yes. I do this for two reasons. One, I like blocking myself. It's more fun. And two, it enrages people on YouTube. That's the only reasons I need. Let's do it. I don't think the skill levels of these enemies are high enough to actually uh, be too much of a danger anyway. If I was fighting a lord, it would be a lot harder. Perfect. How much rain do I get? Nine. I'll take it. I think we like tripled our money there. So, And also now I get a really mismatched piece of armor I can wear. Awesome. Uh, let's go for more speed, please. I was hoping to get some kind of charm from somewhere because then you get six renown per tournament instead of this three. Which may not sound that good, but um, oh, if you do compare it to uh, leveling up, it's actually really, really fast. Hmm. Let's go for maximum pole arms. We're going to go full in. Um. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. Oh, I'll tell you what happened. I, I got the um, golden helmet back off. Um, what's your name again? <laughs> Hobbin Rude. And I've forged it into small parts. It's beautiful. Look at it. I feel like a rich man right now. You can't say I'm not rich if I got this thing on. Is there anything else I kind of want to grab at this point? Um, I still would like a real... They're pikes. I can't use pikes. I want a real pole arm if I can. But I guess for now we just have to make do. Yes, keep heading towards the coastline. Oh, why am I randomly ducking off for like no reason? And I think... I don't think we can do it from here, but we have to go all the way to the coast. We have to now travel into Westeros. But what we'll do, we'll take the ship from uh, Mir and we'll get there as soon as possible. Well, everybody, I don't know what on earth is going on, but apparently Stannis Baratheon is dead. A weary messenger arrives at your camp, bearing news of recent events. My lord, he begins. As you may know, Stannis Baratheon has perished. His bannermen now face a critical decision. To whom will they pledge their loyalty? Many eyes are turning towards Renly Baratheon, who stands poised to unite the Stormlands under his rule. The messenger's words serve as a reminder that in the Game of Thrones, fortunes can change in a blink of an eye. Stannis' death has created a power vacuum and only time will tell how it will be filled. But now, you must remain vigilant, adapt to the ever-shifting landscape of Westeros as alliances form and crumble around you. Cool. And when I said I was going to get a ship over to Westeros, I meant I was going to walk there and skip it in the video. After a long, arduous sea journey, everybody, we have finally reached the shores of Westeros after braving the shores of whatever these islands are called. And along the way, though, we actually managed to find a new friend. Someone that is actually probably the most powerful person in Westeros. His name is Shaga, son of Dolph. I have not named this person. I think he's from the books. I think I remember it in the TV show at some point. I'm not going to rename this person. His name is perfect. He can remain as he is. <laughs> he's actually, by the way, um, pretty much a badass because look at these stats. They are absolutely amazing. He is, of course, going to be our infantry captain. 
And he is also pretty awful when it comes to his personality, which I love in this situation because I'm also awful as well. Anyway, now we've actually arrived in Westroth itself, I need to try and get myself up to a point where we can join a faction. Now, unfortunately, if you weren't thinking, oh, we've got to go through all this and get all the renown, don't worry, guys. I'm going to skip most of that because it's just a matter of me doing tournaments or killing bandits for like 10 to 20 minutes. So <laughs> don't worry, that will not be in the video, though we will do at least one tournament now just to get us into the realm of Westeros. So at this point, Viserys is thinking that he kind of likes the old tournament scene. So he might go and tour the whole of Westeros on a massive tournament spree, becoming probably one of the best fighters the game has ever seen. Um, what is happening over here? Oh no, look at green team. Dual Lords, that's not fair. Okay, we're gonna go for them right away. We gotta get them out of the tournament. They're killing everybody. Let me kill you with my slow motion swings. Okay, they're in a tournament. Um, you doomed us all, Glaveman. Do you not know what you've just done? Oh, they're on the same team. What is this, everybody? Rigged. <laughs> it's all rigged. Wait a second. There's sands everywhere. Oh, no. We are screwed. I don't I don't think we can win this tournament. Um, me and you, Glaveman. I'm going to try and get rid of green team again. Ah, it's a sand jewel. Excellent. One of them said, if I get rid of her. Let me. Okay, she's out. Perfect. Uh oh, wait, what's happening? Who do I have to kill? Blue team. Is that blue team behind me? Ooh, that was a really fast attack set. Whoa, no, the archer. <gasps> We've done it. We've wiped out all the lords. You fool. My... Oh. <laughs> I was going to have a really epic ending line there, but it didn't really work out for me. Oh. I love that kill animation. Cool. Um, there is still one surviving lord, but we got rid of the vast majority of them, so that is awesome for me. Was I betting on myself? I think I was. I have it a few times anyway. Ooh, interesting. No fit. Only 30 damage. You imagine being here that speed would really hurt. Though he has got full armor on, so I guess I can uh, give it 69 damage. Optimal. What are you doing? <laughs> He's trying to pose for a uh, strongman competition right now. This is not the time out, not the time and place. Okay, that person's gonna kick my ass. I'm happy that my friend saved me. How many throwing weapons they have? Was it in Warband used to get like a 99 throwing weapons or something stupid? He could do it forever. Got the last one. Oh, that's a lord. That's probably why she was super fast. Ah, got her. It's me and you, Glaive Man. We've been doing this together so far, but now the turns will take. What? <laughs> what did I just say there? No one really knows. Someone decipher that for me. I think it was a new language I discovered. Yeah. Okay, awkward. Um, I may have missed by quite a large margin. Ooh. I know that I'm doing, like, no damage to this guy, but I think if he hits me, I'm going to die. So oh, he's got another one. <gasps> Let's do it. Combat falls so slow when you're not high level. <laughs> Take this. Ooh, that was close. Maybe I shouldn't be messing around too much. Cool. Northern Thoroughbred. Ooh. Is that going to be a super horse? At least it's a northern one, so I imagine it's going to have pretty good charging. Oh, I can't use it. 55 speed. It's pretty mediocre, guys. Um, but it has got better charge damage. 26 charge damage, so we can actually kill people with it. We will lock it in, and one day I will be able to use it when I get to 80 riding, which is... Quite far away at this point. Ooh. I will take that. Thank you very much. We made it, everybody. We have made it to the final tournament to get myself at the clan rank one. I've not really changed my character anyway. <laughs> I've been waiting to get back on the video for that. But we have done like two or three extra ones and a bunch of bandit hideouts because uh, there's not many tournaments in this mod, I've noticed. <laughs> very, very far apart cities. It took me a little bit of time there. Uh, ooh, beautiful. 
I love this shoving stuff into people's faces. It is amazing. Some may call me a feeder, but it kind of kills them in the process. It's a very weird battle. Oh, is that Shagger? I thought it. I, I always recognize Shagger. So, shall I be trying to take out a particular team? Red team. That wasn't red team. <laughs> Where's red team? There you go. I want to try and take out the Lords so we actually have a higher chance of winning. Because if it's a, some kind of duel, my character's way too low level to kill them most of the time. Well, I can try my best, but I'd rather stack my odds. There you go. Oh, no. Ow, that pretty hurt. Getting this person to drop their guard while I'm trying to stab them is going to be pretty hard. Oh, maybe not. Get him, buddy. Nice, good job. I think we're still in the reach, as you can tell, because we've got a lot of reach guards and stuff around here. And we're also going for Tyrell Braces. Do you know what? Using that information, I think we're in the reach still. <laughs> oh, what? Why is this really random? Are you good at two-handing? I'm going to take that as a no. <laughs> that was devastating. I've never seen such a one-sided tournament win. I guess that guy had no skills at all in two-handing. Um, 90. Yeah, he's awful. <laughs> pretty bad. My character in the meantime, though, has some pretty bad skills himself. Okay, we've got to take down a knight. But this is not a noble troop. This is a regular troop. So they're not actually in danger here. Unless I get my ass. You never know. <laughs> I, might not, I might jinx myself. Do I have the sword? No, it's just this. I hope that he drops his guard a few times, otherwise it's going to be a bit of trouble actually breaking through it. Oh, perfect. It's pretty much all there is to carry jewels. Double S, double W. Nice, enemy down. So I have got the perk to get six renown per tournament, so this should get me up to where I wanted to be. Also made some money as well. There you go, real Targaryen tier is increased to one, everybody. We've done it. Cool. So from this point on, um, we are going to try and join a faction as a mercenary. Now, there was not that many factions in Westeros that did not betray my father, but House Tyrell did not betray me, as far as I think I know. <laughs> I, oh, I say that, they did not betray me openly. Let's put it that way. So I'm actually going to join them as a mercenary, and we're going to head over to Highgarden. As to my character, I have a lot of level ups, everybody. I have not done any of this. Um, let's go for five intelligence. Up up stewardship, and we also go for more leadership as well. Because we're going to get a lot of troops very shortly, or at least I hope so. As for the skills, you guys probably already know what I'm going to pick. I pick the same stuff pretty much every single time, because most of these other options are not nearly my kind of thing most of the time. Let's grab this one. Look at this speed. Speed running stats, everybody. Now, this is something I don't normally do, because I don't really play with horses, so... More hit points to your mounts, and more hit points for mounts in my formation, or I can get that. Okay, I'm going to go for the top one. <laughs> Let's go for something that helps my entire army, shall we? It sounds a lot better. We've also got Braced and Keep at Bay. 25% um, chance of dismounting enemy cavalry with a heavy hit. That sounds amazing. I love that. Um, Foot on Lancer. That's a bit random. 10% damage by infantry in your formation against cavalry. Very random skill to have being a riding person. Oh wait, this is Polarm, sorry. <laughs> I thought I was still in the riding ones. I was like, that makes no sense. Let's go for this, shall we? Might save my life some a few times. Now, as for my character, I've not really added much to it. I guess I can... Ooh, 22 armor, that's pretty decent. I will equip this armor I haven't put on so far. Wow, look at these boots! Damn, this is reeking of just... Noble indulgence. I have no regard for anybody's well-being. This costs like as much as an entire village. <laughs> for no reason. It goes with my uh, gold theme though. I can become the gold man. Gold akin. Goldborn? We'll think about it. Let me know what I should be, guys. Uh, let's get rid of this, shall we? I have actually bought a bunch of horses though to get maximum speed, as well as a bunch of food to get the old stewardship up and running. Let's just buy another load. Just to see. Olives. We've had no offers. Olives, apparently. Done. Uh, as for my other characters, I've not really done anything to them. i kind of just been running around trying to level up as soon as possible, because I'd rather do stuff on camera. Um, yes, anyway, now that I am actually a mercenary, or I can be, is this the Reach? Perfect. We can join right here. Arwen Oakheart. Interesting. Oh. Hello. That's close enough for now. Lady Arwen Oakheart. Look! Wow! He's so golden. This is perfect. Definitely for my character development. My lady, I wish 
two. Where is it? Where is it? I would like to enter the service of Warden of the South, Mace Tyrell, as a mercenary. No one recognizes who I am, by the way, because of my horrific scarring and my bald head. Okay, I get paid 150. I'll take it. You can count on me. As of now, your enemies are my enemies and your honor is my honor. Cool. Oh, I'm pretty well. I'm already a mercenary. So now that we've done that, I can finally see who on earth is actually in this faction. <laughs> and it looks like we're... War with these guys. I'm going to go out and just say that we're at war with the um, Baratheons. Baratheon Renly. Stormlands. Interesting. Can I just point out, by the way, I haven't done too much with the old making troops. As I just say, I have a lo those are really random units in my army here. The noble troops of the Reach are awesome. I love them. So they start off as a, a dude with like a sword. Whatever. That's fine. He goes into becoming an archer and a bow knight. How cool is that? But it's okay, because we're playing cavalry. And then he goes in to being a knight himself. This is like the coolest Hovis bred, better of, better of both worlds unit class for me. He is useful all the way through to becoming a knight. Though I guess I'm going to need a lot of war horses, but whatever. Because this guy has some pretty good stats at the end. And uh, he uses a um, Volge, which I think is an interesting weapon for a cavalry person. But I presume they've tested this and it works okay. <laughs> they might be completely trash. I don't know. But we will see later on in the series. Because I'm probably going to try and get as much of these guys as possible. Because as I do want to try and stack the old um, cavalry. I'm just going to have loads. I'm going to try to anyway. Loads and loads of noble knights. We're going to have a giant knight horde running down our foes. It's going to be amazing. One thing I will say though. It's pretty hard to tell the difference between the reach units and the noble units. Because they look literally the same. When you're leveling, uh, when you're hiring them from cities, it's a bit confusing, but it is what it is. Um, okay, anyway, now we actually are a mercenary. Should we head towards the front line so we can get some battles going? I am a bit too weak to actually kill anybody at this point by myself. Um, I've only got 25 men from random locations. Stormland Noble. Let's have a look, shall we? I don't discriminate. Oh. Okay, I'm not a fan of the breadbasket thing, but they have broad two handers. That's really cool. I gotta say though, animation wise, um, don't use two handed sword on a horse. You actually have less range than a one handed sword. But that's a technical thing. We're not gonna worry about that in my series, don't worry. He's also got a lance. Oh, these guys are amazing. I'll take them all. <laughs> Unless they happen to have been directly involved with killing my father, I don't care. I will hire them. It's totally fine. Now, let's have a look around here. So it looks like Fellwood itself is currently under attack and it. Looks like this army is going to go and say hello. Shall we see if we can join the action? Ah, oh, that's easy. We can do that right now if you want to. Are we ready? Let's go. I should probably join the army and see if I can become a cavalry captain. I don't think they would let me be a cavalry captain if I'm level 2. <laughs> probably not. You never know though. Wow, their standards are horrible. I am now a cavalry captain. Yeah, look at me. So how many cavalry do I have? Seven. I thought we were meant to be... I thought we were meant to be, like, the Reach with all the knights and stuff. Have I got that wrong? Well, I'm very good. Seven cavalry. Follow me. Follow me. I, I'm one of them. That's even more awkward. So are any of these nobles? No, they look really cool, though. Oh, I did probably, I probably should have bought myself an actual, um, hold on, I did forget. Anyway, my friends, the seven of us are going to smash and embarrass their cavalry formation. Wait, why are there giant mushrooms? Okay, it's fine, don't worry about it. Maybe if I eat one, I might grow one on top of my head so I have hair again. You never know. I don't think I'm that hungry yet. Okay, these cavalry don't look very strong. Then again, the breadbasket thing's really throwing it off for me. Whoa! He can swing his pole arm? Oh. <laughs> I think that's an ally anyway, to be fair. I don't think I did a bad job. Nope. I like how I'm just imagining I'm like a cavalry commander in this battle. I'm still using a pitchfork. <laughs> it's fine. I don't know if my guy is actually going to... I reckon my guy's going to die. Unfortunately for them, they're following me. That's what I'm doing! Oh. Huh. He understands the concept of my strategies. He's a worthy leader. We have a lot of infantry and archers here. Um, ooh, oh, 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 it's okay. 
For some reason, I'm not getting hit. I feel like... Oh, I know. I understand. When they try and aim at me, the sun reflects off my head and they get blinded. I am literally invincible. No one can possibly hurt me. I'm going to die, though. You don't... <laughs> you just have to keep believing. But keep believing and I won't die. Take this guy down. Oh, he stopped moving. Damn it. Oh, he got wrecked. My guys are still alive. Oh, because I'm not using the beta patch, because the mod's not compatible with it yet, uh, I can't do charge to formation. It would have been very, very useful using a cavalry commander. I'm not going to lie. Um, it would have been a bit of a game changer, to be honest. But it's okay. We can make do. Uh, these archers are not very good at shooting. <laughs> oh, wait. I got this. Oh, he's okay. <laughs> Damn it. What? He just went through a tree? I think I've been having too many mushrooms, everybody. I'm seeing things. I'll take it. So this is the Stormland troops. In interesting. Uh, I like how there's a lot of variety. Ooh, look at these guys. Little stag helmets. Very cool. Okay. Oh, there's the Reach ones as well. I've been going down this tree because House Tyrell has access to house guards, knights, and longbowmen. I think it's the most diverse tree, because I can, if I need some troops specifically, I can change them over later. It does seem all these troops are pretty much identical. For some reason, they've randomly have like 10 or 20 difference in the skill level, but that won't actually affect much in the game because the AI level goes up to 330. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Um, also, look at these guys. <laughs> they have high tower great helm. It is amazing. I don't know. I guess you can kind of like play chess on it or something. I think it's like a Beyblade uh, tournament up there. So if they get bored during their breaks, they can just put it down the floor, rip some blade blades and have a good time. Uh, yeah, so I've been going down this skill tree though, because I've got a lot of options at the end here. I'm not going to ever recruit non-noble cavalry because I really want to keep my cavalry being an elite force of super people. Uh, anyway, uh, House Tyrell. I like how you can add loads of different options for leveling up though. That's really cool. Dragonstone boots, temper blade, uh, uh, whatever. Oh, actually, I say that. Shagger. Ooh, that looks actually really nice. I can feel the wealth from here. Probably doesn't fit somebody such as the son of Dolph to be a bear, but... Nice, well, it looks like we won the first battle. Uh, I'm going to try and just get my own army up, though, because uh, being part of army battles doesn't really get you very far in the game very quickly, to be honest, everybody. So we want to try and avoid that if we can. I need to try and find some locations which are not attached to cities. Tumbleton, Tumbleton. Oh, that's all. There you go. This way. Because yeah, we want to get as many nobles as possible. Like, if I was playing base game, I would just have like 30 Fians at this point. Rook's Rest. Wow. I don't know what's happening over there, but <laughs> there's a lot of action at Rook's Rest. Stormland nobles. Where? <laughs> I guess we must have captured this at some point from the other guys, because it's not. Culture Stormland, yeah. Hmm, interesting. What about this place? Bound Villages. Red Grass Field, New Barrel. Oh, they're miles away. Interesting. So I guess we want to go this way then. I kind of miss, uh, I don't know about you guys, I kind of miss in Warband where you used to be able to own a city as a vassal as well. I love that. But there you go. I kind of wish as well they had like, um, like uh, feudalism to the game. That'd be really cool. I'd love to go from like a knight to like a baron and stuff. That'd be so awesome. Maybe Bottles can do it one day. High Town Levy. I will see one of these options somewhere. Interesting. I so I only want the. We got to try and level these guys up somewhere. At least I can kind of tell what's what though. I just look at the uh, different emblems. Okay, I feel like my speed's going lower, but hopefully when we start leveling these guys up into noble troops, we should be a lot faster. Okay, oh, sure ship, nice. Uh, let's go for XP for everybody. Stony Sept. I love the chicken. You don't want to mess with a chicken, everybody. They can be pretty scary. Or at least roosters can, anyway. Hmm, not much is going on, is there? It's kind of weird, because earlier there was bandits everywhere. I guess I say that there's bandits appear everywhere. <laughs> looks like we actually managed to stumble across another battle here. I don't know if we're going to go in for it, though. Oh, it looks like we are. Let's go, brothers! What does this mean? 
Oh, I think it means Sally out, if I understand their little thing there. I like how I just can't tell the power levels. <laughs> no one knows. But at least with the garrison's help, we should be able to overpower the enemy here. Oh, look at all these units we have. Everyone, follow me! We've got to remember, my army is mostly just level one noble units. <laughs> I haven't leveled them up yet. I was trying to find some bandits to kill, but they kept running away. I kind of wish that they would add, like, higher level, like, mid-tier and late-tier bandits. Like, big stacks of, like, slow ones that your lords can fight later on. I think that'd be really cool. Okay, looks like they got 260 infantry. But we got 154 archers. <laughs> what kind of armies are these? There's some pretty... Oh, damn it. I keep forgetting about the, the damn pole arm, everybody. It's fine. We'll get one in the end. Okay. I'm actually kind of terrified from the infantry there. Hopefully they're all low level. Um, I can't see too much right now. Looks like they haven't got any shields. Interesting. The distinct lack of music. Can you help me out here, game? <laughs> it's just silence. All you can hear is the horse panting. Okay, these are some noble ones, aren't they? Let's try and kill some up. Where do you think you're going? You're running away from a man with a pitchfork. Are you serious? Imagine when I get a real pole on everybody, we're going to be devastating. I think this is the one I hurt before. If I just take this one down. Oh, wait. Oh, that was a scary weapon. Why is he swinging his pole arm? <laughs> if it's a spear, that's very confusing. Whoa. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe I shouldn't be here, everybody. Maybe. Maybe just maybe. This space is a bit dangerous. It's okay. I got this. Okay, moving on. Oh, wait, wait. Back off, man. I think he's faster than me on my horse. Oh, there you go. He's screwed now. Bring it on. Damn it. <laughs> oh, sorry. My bad, buddy. My bad. It happens. Yes. Good job, archers. They, they are has no chance. If we got this many archers on me skirmish, they're just dead. <laughs> Without a doubt. They've got more cavalry this time, though. The Knight of Tyrell. Question is, is the AI going to set up on the hill in a skirmish, or are they just going to do something Bannerlord esque We'll see very shortly, I guess. So far, I'm going to go with Bannerlords esque Interesting strategy you have here, guys. Uh, are they on like hold fire mode or something? Oh, wait, there you go. Now I'm firing. Got any throwing weapons left? No, it's just this. Oh, they're aiming at me. I'll be careful. Okay, let's set up my own line anyway. Have you guys like so? I have him drop to the flank to take on the cavalry in a second. Okay, this is this is kind of poor, guys. This is at least some of them are firing. <laughs> it's fine. My guys will help. I just walk into the cavalry and see what happens. We're going in, guys. Oh no! Only like four of them actually have armor. Oh, I wonder if I can assassinate the leader over there. Ooh, oh, no, I can't do any more. If I get one more hit, I'm dead. They're being hit by something, but I don't think it's the archers. Are they getting hit by throwing weapons? Swarm him! Get him! <laughs> I'm getting away! Damn it, you got away. It's such a weird battle. What is happening? We have to rely on ourselves. Get him! Oh no, this poor guy! Damn it, my guys are so level they can't really break the armor, unfortunately. Ooh, this person's not a cavalry person. I gotta try and get in the charger with something get close. Yeah, this shield in the back is doing wonders for everybody. Get him! One's dead. Perfect. Yeah, looks like the AI is going to be moving in in a second. Damn, you guys got some tanky HP. 
Lady Selmy is down. Not a Lord Slayer yet, but we'll get there in the end. I think that guy's, guy's going for me. But let's get my guys off to the side a little bit more. I think they're going to get ganked in a second. Um, I guess these guys are run out of ammo. <laughs> yes. Do they care if I do this? Let's, let's see what happens. Oh no! Oh no no no! They yeah, maybe I was about to start. Let's get my guys in the back of it as well. I might be able to get some kills here actually if I get my. No. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Blocking all my stuff. Seems to be a lot of peasants. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, I say oh no, now I can actually fight properly, so it's fine. <laughs> we well, attack faster than I can swing, that's not good. <gasps> He's got a mace! Oh, what the hell, we're getting ripped! My forte, fighting on the ground! Infantry to me! So they are running now. Ow. Okay, the Stormlands infantry is pretty badass apparently. They got absolutely uh, smashed there. Luckily we had way more than them. Oh, there's one left. I think my horse didn't die because that would kind of suck. I'll take it. <laughs> Might get some really amazing loot, you never know. Stormland recruits. What am I going down here? Um, shall I go for the House Baratheon guards? 140, 130. 140. What a sledgehammer? Okay. <laughs> We're going down the House Baratheon guards. Oh, I can also get one of my knights now. Awesome. The best thing I looted from that battle was a cow. Damn it. It's fine. Uh, let's go for... Oh, <laughs> I was like, wait a second, there's no cow here. And a sheep. What we can do, we can just... Butcher those, get some more money that way. I didn't normally do that, but I mean, I guess we could. There it is. Sorry, my bad, it happens. Done. It's so not amazing when it comes to um, wiping people out there, but we got some progress. Kingswood Outlaws. Interesting. I guess they're archer base. Oh, is there any army there? Super tempted, but at the same time, we're not going to get very far if we just do all these army battles, everybody. It's not the way to level up. It's not the way at all. Oh, I probably should increase my riding. I'll let them do all that. I'm going to head off this way. We need to find some laws I can fight by myself. Uh, it's normally the best way of leveling up. Okay, good for that. I already have way too much green. <laughs> Happens every single time. What we can do while we're here, actually, is... Nope, not that. Is there no... Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Sister Noise. Where on earth... Are all the pole arms? I thought the game's curse, everybody. The game's like, we must not give him any pole arms at any point. I mean, yes, I can get a slightly worse pitchfork. Oh, this. That's a side grade. I guess it is a lot longer, but I. <sighs> we'll do it for now. Screw it. I'll take it. Let's get rid of the throwing weapons now. We've got ourselves some stuff as well. Get a shield. And I think I'm happy with that. Who are you? Everyone's so good in this. <laughs> Why is everyone so amazing at everything? It's pretty amazing how they're that good. Like, I might have to go around and shop a little bit to get some better weapons. I still not really... I guess if I just level myself up with all these really bad bandits, we might... Ah, I know what I can do. I can go and kill uh, militia from villagers. That would be a good mid-tier mid battle for my guys to fight to get level ups. Otherwise, I've got to fight like 10 or 2 bandits at a time. It's not going to be very efficient. Ooh, it's a tournament here. Okay, first off, let me just double check 
That's a lot of units. All arms. Damn it, game. <laughs> it's fine. I don't need weapons. Sir Benfrey the Lucky. We get more companions later. It seems like there's loads of them in this, though. Let's just finish this off with doing a little tournament, though. Never. I'll take it. I can give the braces to somebody else. Oh, nice. Two of swords. I love it. Excellent. Hi, right, Sarah. We should be fine. I'm doing crazy damage with like no combat skills. That is something I have realized recently. I did a, I was doing a little side project and I have no combat skills. My skills are like 12 two handing. I'm doing as much damage as I normally do. It's a bit crazy. <laughs> as long as you get a good weapon, that seems to all that matters. Parkour. That blue guy really wants to kill me. Uh oh. It's okay. Oh, I missed. Luckily with the AI, they're way defensive with um, cavalry combat. So you normally don't have to get attacked much at all. They always defend over attack themselves. Unless they got a swing weapon, apparently. That one dead. Oh, that was a bit close. They're all dead. Excellent. Oh. <laughs> Good start, me. Good job. Let's take them down. Oh, you, you realize you're being attacked, right? Oh, that was close. Um, I don't know what happened there. I clearly blocked down. I think he hit my arm, but nothing happened. <laughs> the Enigma. What is going on? Let's do this. I was trying to see if he would die, but he was kind of just like very in irresponsive. Cool! Done! So, at least with that we get ourselves six renown per time, but we still need quite a lot to level up again. But anyway, what like I said, we will s I'm going to see how viable it is being a mercenary of this faction. Because this map, I've noticed with this mod, the, the maps are very, very large. Um, so it's very hard to, like, find stuff to do. Um, also, this is a freaky river right here. <laughs> this is a miasma river. You don't want to go in there. It's all, like, sulfuric. Um, it's just really bad. It's really bad for your health. Yeah, it's, like, very far apart. So it's actually very hard to just progressively go and find and do things. Um, so we'll see how things go. There you go, buddy. Wait, why am I giving it to you? I should give it to the... I should give it to Shagger. He's on the front line. There you go. <laughs> that does not fit with him at all, but I guess it's okay. Yeah, so we'll see how things go. I might tr if it if I'm having trouble with like leveling up quickly because of the lack of like proximity, I might speed things up a little bit again to get things going. Because I really want to get to the point where we start just finding and wiping out our enemies. I don't think I can kill most of the Baratheons because I think it started off with like the main part of the TV show so we got Joffrey in charge for instance I wonder if he just randomly dies it's like preset what day did he die on awesome mate I will figure that out I wonder if he just randomly dies at like a preset time if like the game follows the show that could be quite interesting anyway everybody I hope that everyone has enjoyed this first episode of this season um I will be doing this I think every day at this point i will go back to doing stuff every other day but as i'm still trying to catch up and get stuff going from me being gone for the last 10 months i don't think i have time to record another series to run in tandem with this one in the next three three or four days so we have to figure stuff out anyway thank you for watching my name is fretex um and i'll see you next time bye